Well, we finally got Microsoft MS-DOS 6.22. Well, it's actually formatting the internal drive now. And I've also discovered it has a 300 megabyte hard drive, which is unusual. The Model 80s typically ship with about 150 or so, maybe 200 tops. 300 megabytes, this was a pricey little machine. Speaking of, I just found the original sales slip. Here it is. This was actually in the box underneath some packaging. To give you an, a, a, a rough idea here, <laughs> this system has been sitting in this box since 12 6 of 91. There are no prices listed on here, but the original owner was the Greater Syracuse Moving and Storage Co. in North Syracuse, New York. Um, this appears to be the the bill of lading, I guess, or it's a packing slip, so there's no price. Um, but it was purchased directly from IBM in Endicott, New York, as a refurbished system. So that tells me that yes, it was a refurb, um, and it was it was refurbished in uh, 12 of 91. So amazing. In 12 of 91, how old was I? I was seven years old. Amazing. Time does have its toll on humans, but apparently not equipment like this. Boy. So let's see what this says here. Um, this packing slip or a copy thereof may be used as warranty. Proof of purchase effective 10 days after the above date. Um... Total weight, 61 pounds. Um, I see two items here. One, PC858031. And that's what this is. And the 8580... Uh, well, I don't see the monitor on here, but whatever the 8580 is. Uh, okay. I'll buy that. Um, yeah. So... How's that? I'm going to contact this company, see if they're still in business. Tell them, hey, you lost your computer, man. So this machine was probably purchased for around $10,000 in 1991. If you can imagine that. And uh, here we have all the original packaging, unused, unopened, unmolested. You saw it live on here on YouTube. This is a new system. Or, I'm sorry, a refurbished system that's been in the box. 19 years. Here we have here. Yeah, another, we got, I got two keyboard cables for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. But no mouse. I, I'm a little shocked that there was no mouse included. I thought all IBM PS2s ship with mice. Now, what am I going to do with these boxes? That's the question of the day. I'm going to throw them away. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Volume label. I'll just call it system. Hear that? These are nice keyboards. Now what do we got for bad sectors? None! Kick ass. Alright, now let's do an install of the OS. And, uh, this is how you bypass the... DOS 622 upgrade um, copy protection. The idea is you format the drive first with any OS. You can even format it with disk 1 by bypassing the startup files. Once you do that, uh, well, first run F disk, make a primary partition, then format the disk, and uh, it should run setup without any problems. Now, I've done this before, about 10 years ago, and it worked. So, that is one loud drive. This is nice. This monitor is crystal clear. I mean, I, the, the IBM PS2 monitor that I had years ago was so badly burned. Um, 
that you could you could you had a permanent Windows 3.1 display burned right into it. So we're going to install DOS 622, and I got to go find my Windows 3.1 installed disks. Now I don't know if I still have a working copy, but um, I'm hoping I do. I know I've got Windows 95 somewhere, but uh, let's see. I'm going to say I don't have a copy anymore. I, I used to. Shit. Oh dear. Yeah, those are all CDs. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to download the disk images and then I'll be able to install it. So, until then.